So guys, I am back with another Halo Infinite video and today I'm going to show you the location of where you can get all nine armor coatings which obviously transfer across to that multiplayer mode. So if you want to go into multiplayer looking like a complete boss, then there are actually collectibles within the campaign you can collect and today I'll showcase all nine of them for you guys where to go, how to grab them so you can rock these amazing looking colours within that multiplayer side of the game How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe Also guys, I'm running another weekly game giveaway now last week's winner can be seen on screen now if this is you hit me up on my discord link below so to be with a chance of winning this week's game giveaway it's pretty simple drop a like on this video leave a comment down below make sure you are subbed and have those notifications turned on and it is as simple as that winners will be announced at the end of the week okay so there are nine amazing armor coating collectibles for you to grab within the campaign like i said for you to use within the multiplayer side of the game now what i will say is uh getting an air vehicle to travel about to these locations to grab these collectibles is probably a wise thing to do now unless you've hit 2600 valor within the fob system you can't spawn in a wasp but there is a couple of places on the map in which you can grab vehicles uh, on the screen now you can see a an area where you can get a banshee and sometimes even a wasp will spawn within this little area so come to this place on the map right here you will have to do a little bit of climbing to get up here but once you're up here take out the enemies have a look around the cliff side and you'll see either a couple of banshees or there will be a wasp up here guys i mean none of these actually require an air vehicle but i mean it just make things a lot easier on yourself traveling from one to another to actually grab these so let's get into it. I'm going to start with the Obelisk Stone Mark 7 Armor Coating. Now these are obviously all for the Mark 7 Armor, just so you know. Okay, so this one is literally located as soon as you reach that fresh air from the main campaign. Within that outpost Tremonius uh, mission, you complete the mission, you come outside and you are good to grab this thing. And it's relatively right in front of you. So follow where I go on screen now guys to grab this one. Okay, so this one not too far from the first one. This one's called the Crimson Vatel, I believe that's pronounced. Uh, so literally from, you can see the Apple Shamonius right there. It's a little bit further down. So go and grab this, guys, and enjoy. Okay, so next up we have the Banished Deception. So you can see where I am on a map right here, right near the excavation site. Just slightly north of it, you'll see up on this, well, hilltop side is another armor crate. So follow where I go from this point on the map and grab this one, guys, if you need it.
Okay, so next up, guys, we have the dogfight Makovic, I believe that's pronounced. Probably wrong, I usually am. But from this point on the map right here, guys, it's quite straightforward to grab this. I'm not going to lie. So looking at this point from here, as you can see, it's quite simple, my people. Just run back on yourself, follow the direction I take, and you'll see the locker right there. So enjoy that one, guys. Next up, people, we have the Blood Shadow Coating, and this one looking pretty cool as well. Okay, so from the point I'm at right here, guys, you will have to do a little bit of scaling, I guess, to get up here, but nothing too crazy. As long as you're decent with that grapple hook, you'll get to a point which you can run a lot of the way, and then just come Well, I'm coming. You will have to grapple up to the remainder, but it's all good, guys. It's all good. So follow the... Uh, the route I take on screen now, guys, and grab this locker. Next up guys, you have the Wild Coven Armor Coating. Okay, so from the point I'm at on a map right here, people, on uh, Fox Hand Squad, if you've completed this, it's right near here. I'm just using this as a vocal point. Again, climbing may be required here, but it's nothing difficult whatsoever. If you've got that air vehicle, I mean, these are all simple to get. So follow the route I take on the screen now, people, and grab this armor locker. Next up, people, we have the Shadow Sorrel, I believe that's pronounced. Again, I'm probably wrong, I usually am. But again, this one's relatively straightforward to grab. Just follow the, the route I take from where I am on screen here, and it's relatively straightforward. I mean, again, if you ain't got an air vehicle, you may have to climb up here, but nothing too difficult whatsoever. Definitely worth your time doing so. Next up, people, we have the Midnight Griffin Armor Coating. This one, again, straightforward to grab. I'm just going to run from the uh, the point of this actual this area, the vocal point of the area. We actually come into it just to make things a little easier on people who are confused because there's a lot of buildings around here. I mean, I was going to start it much closer to where this emblem, I mean, this locker is, sorry, but because there's so many buildings, I thought people would probably get a little bit confused. So I thought I'd just run to the, the forefront of the building. Uh, this actual area sorry and this come from here so yes i hope this helps and enjoy this one
Next up, people, and lastly today, we have the Scorpion. Horvath, does that say? Again, I'm probably wrong. Don't butch me in the comments section. Okay, so this one, left side of the map, right near the tower. Um, not hard to get whatsoever, people. So yes, come grab this thing, as you see me doing, and get the final uh, armor coating from the campaign. And I hope you enjoy it guys and on that note the end of the video has arrived if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps me out if you're new around here and want to see more halo be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video i upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one